but yeah what were you trying to like were you trying to be like a psychologist originally who even is this bitch god damn it um, I was gonna be a therapist. Oh, okay. I mean, therapists are very needed. Wait, did I just use two tickets for this one person? A chicken! Did I use two tickets for this one person? Shit. I did, didn't I? Okay, this 121, that's for- that's for the next one coming up. Um, therapists are very well needed, but architecture is really cool. Yeah, you think so? Okay, so we'll- yeah, we'll- 121 is for this ticket. I do really enjoy your name. I don't even know, bruh. I enjoy that name. Thank you for coming in here today and showing me your, your name because <laughs> it's such a mood right now in this on this current stream. It's such a mood. I didn't know what to put as my user, so I chose this. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely fair. It's definitely, hey, I mean, it works. It works, so everyone can relate to that name. I don't know why, like, everyone has a pr to pronounce it. I didn't think my username was gonna be that hard to pronounce, but everyone always says Magios or Magios. I'm like, it's Magios. I don't, I guess it's like the E after the A. Ugh, that's a really big fish. Oh well. Head bats, head bats. Sturgeon, I have already, wait, did I already catch one? Should I grab my fishing rod just in case? There's so much drama in college, it's crazy. Oh my God, there's just so much drama everywhere in my life. <laughs> there's like drama where there shouldn't even be drama, but college is definitely, no, there's drama everywhere. There's drama in my workplace. There's so much drama. Some of the places that I've worked, it's like worse than school. <laughs> because it's like you're dealing with, like when I was working, I used to be a manager, like a head cash at Home Depot. And, um, Oh, okay, that's gross. I'm probably not gonna... I'm probably gonna... Deny that one. I don't know, bro. But you're still cool. It's still okay. Um... But yeah, there's like a lot of drama in yours. Um... But that's that that really sucks. That that really sucks. Yeah, at my at my work, it's just like yeah. When I was a head cash at Home Depot, it was like there was people who like literally they were in their fifties and sixties that I had to like, and I was like younger, and I had to be their manager, and they literally they were acting like children. They were literally acting like children. And they were like, don't treat me like a child. And I was like, don't act like a freaking child then, you stupid fuck. It's another monkey. Wait. Wait, did we use... There was... Okay, that was another... That was a new ticket. Right? Or was this the 121? Shit, I'm getting really confused now. Did I just jump ahead again? I just jumped the gun again, didn't I? No, 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 I'm oh, I'm on track? Okay. Okay. This is difficult for me. Yeah, you feel me there? Yeah. It's like, it's so... <sighs> it's like you're adults. You're in your, like, your 50s. Stop whining. <laughs> and then they call in sick like two minutes before their shift starts and you're like, great, thank you. Or like... I don't know, you're just like in classes with someone and they're just like, oh my god. 
I don't even know. Some kids here don't know how to act in college. Yeah. I guess maybe they're still like kids kids. They're not even like growing up. <laughs> they're just, they're still kids. Adolescent teenagers. <laughs> that are just adults now. <laughs> oh, please. Can this just be a cat? Like, I've been so patient. I haven't killed anyone. Fucking duck. Looks like ducks on the menu, boys. It's like don't don't go to college if you're gonna act like you're like you're belong in elementary, right? But actually, but actually, ugh. Yeah, I don't understand people. That's why, like, even like. I don't know, like in workplaces and stuff, it's the exact same thing. Actually, one of the places I used to work, um, there was some medical reasons why I couldn't go to work a couple times. And they, oh wait, that one, okay, that one was 122, this is 123. Um, there was some medical reasons why I couldn't go to work, and... It was a smaller, um, it, it was a, it was a smaller company. And so I told the, like my manager who was also just happened to be like the owner of the company. And we had like daily meetings for the entire company because there was only like 12 of us. And he actually went and told them all my medical issues. Like, well, not my medical issues, not issues, but, like, the medical issue I was currently having. He went and told the entire company. And it was like, what? Like, you can't do that. Like, people just don't know. Oh, fuck, that's not a cat. It's messed up. Fuck, well, you're not a fucking cat. What are you? I know you're a mouse, but are you even a mouse? Like, how are you existing? It's, it is, it's really, it's really fucked up. Like, I could have gone to like, uh, I'm in Canada. I could have gone to like the labor board or something like that or whoever it was. I don't know. I could have gone to somebody. Um, and it wasn't like anything like crazy serious, but it was still very like private information. You know what I mean? Like. You're in Canada? I'm in California. Nice. Classic Cali. I've never been to California. Is it nice there? I'm in Canada. I like it here though. I'm I'm a happy. I'm a happy camper here. Bum, bum. Um Yeah, just here for college? Oh, nice. Okay, cool. Cool. I feel like in California, everyone like <laughs> I don't know if it's just like a stereotype that I've seen on, um, okay, ticket 124. This is ticket 124. I don't know if it's just like a stereotype I've seen, but it always seems like, like, college in California, like, yeah, people are just like, they go insane there. Like, it's all about, like, frats and, what are the girls' ones? Uh, sororities. I feel like that's like such a big thing maybe not specifically for California but like in the states in general I don't think I've ever seen a sorority or like a frat house here Ugh, gross um I don't think I've ever seen that here in Canada there's like one frat party every month holy crap Man, I I don't even yeah. Is it like in your dorm too? Like, can you hear it? Are you in, are you invited? <laughs> like, is it like just anyone's invited, or you have to be like? I guess you'd have to be part of the frat house, right? Oh, that'd be so. That would be like. 
That'd be so noisy. I'd just be like, guys, I just want to sleep. Can you just turn on all the music? I'm like a little granny. Just like in the in, in my bed, just like, please leave me. Let me sleep. Children or study, like God. I always wonder. It's noisy, but that's what noise canceling headphones are for. Sure, that's very true. That's true. <sighs> that is a good point. But then you start to get the bass, and it's like boom, 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 and the whole dorm starts to move, and you're like, oh, no. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Maybe it's kind of like a massage. Do, 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 do. Everybody. Ew. Ew. Ew! Uh, let me look at you. Let me look at your face. Let me look how disgusting you are. Come over here, you disgusting bear. Why? He, this guy been. This guy's been in a fight. Like he's seen some shit. You know what I mean? Like he has just. He's gone through it. He's aged terribly. Maybe he was a boxer, and he just never recovered mentally. He's, he has some haunting, uh, he has some, some haunting times. Sometimes I go and I, um, and see what's going on, but usually there's just barf and kids being weirdos. Yeah. Yeah, that's gross. That doesn't sound like, that doesn't sound like something that would be like, just playing video games and.